For most kung fu enthusiasts, Henan is a destination not to be missed. The Shaolin Temple, which is a pilgrimage site for martial artists, is situated here. Welcome to the Shaolin Temple. Around the world, the Shaolin Temple is best known for two things. Number one, as being the birthplace of Chinese Kung Fu, and number two, being the home of Chan, also known as Zen Buddhism. This is the first time I've been back to the temple in four years, so I'm very interested to see if anything has changed. So between 2014 and 2019, we probably went to the Shaolin Temple maybe 20 times over the years, um, studying with the monks and really getting a true feeling of life and culture inside the temple. The history of Shaolin Temple goes back to the 5th century CE. It used to be a school of Buddhism. In 2020, the Shaolin Temple was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site along with several other historic monuments. There are many stories behind this time-honored place. If people know anything about the Shaolin Temple, they probably know about the Thousand Buddha Hall. At the Shaolin Temple, there are two kinds of monk. There's the warrior monks, and then there's the religious monks. Throughout history, it could be argued that here, the Thousand Buddha Hall was the most important for the warrior monks, because in this hall, is where, throughout history, the warrior monks would do their legendary kung fu training. Let's take a quick look. If people know anything about the Shaolin Temple, they probably know about the Thousand Buddha Hall. It is the largest Buddha Hall here with large, colorful frescoes on three walls. Don't forget to take a look at the floor. Many more stories of the Shaolin Temple can be found here. If you look carefully at the floor, you'll be able to see dents all over it. Supposedly, these dents were made by the warrior monk as they slammed their feet into the ground. It's really amazing to see. Personally, I've always taken inspiration from that floor. It just reminds me again of how hard the warrior monks over the centuries trained in that hall. You know, the effort that it takes to make that kind of long-lasting indentation on a floor, that's something that stays with you, you know? For many years, I brought foreign students here to the Shaolin Temple to train Shaolin Kung Fu with the warrior monks. For me personally, it's been a few years since I've actually done any training. However, I'm very lucky today to have been invited here to the Pagoda Forest to train personally with the warrior monks. Let's see how my basics are looking. The last time I personally trained Kung Fu at the Shaolin Temple was around four years ago. Kung Fu at the Shaolin Temple is different to most kinds of Kung Fu that you might study in the West. This time practicing was a real reminder, A, that I'm getting older, and B, just how hard it is to train Kung Fu in the way that the, the warrior monks train. So if you're going to the Shaolin Temple for the first time, I think I would have two pieces of advice. Either go very, very early in the morning 
or later in the afternoon because it does get very, very crowded there. The second piece of advice I would give is make sure you have enough time to see not just of the temple, but also the surrounding scenic area. And so I think I will always consider the Shaolin Temple probably a third home for me.